Thank you, Kumsa. South African visual artist Percy Maimela is a Guinness World Record holder after creating the largest ground coffee mosaic in the world. The artist created a picture of DJ Black Coffee using nothing but coffee grains. Now, due to the current pandemic, he's now forced to move his annual Salt of the Earth exhibition to the South African State Theatre's uh, Theater's YouTube channel. And he joins us now via Skype to share a bit more on it. A very good morning to you, Percy. Thank you so much for joining us. Welcome to Morning Live. Good morning, my brother. How are you? I'm great, man. It's, uh, it's a pleasure having you on the show. First of all, uh, how has exhibiting your work online helped tap, help you tap into the international market and expand your brand? So normally we do like physical shows and only a few people who are close by, they can come and view the show. Uh, we don't get a exposure to global market, but now because of the, uh, this pandemic, we, we are exposed to actually go uh, go beyond what we normally do so this this has been a very unique way uh, for us to to actually expose ourselves not just taking our artwork to an a gallery overseas but now they can view it uh, regardless of wherever they are so this is a very good opportunity for us even though it's a pandemic but it also gave us that opportunity you know, Percy, you are renowned for having created a picture of DJ Black Coffee using nothing but uh, coffee grains. And you use normally mostly salt or coffee mosaic on your work. Why this type of art? Uh, it, it's a way for me to show that we can use whatever we want to use to produce a very impactful piece. So initially, I, I had an issue of Horkelaka uh, material. But then later on, I realized that if I can use whatever is around me, then this can be an impact. So I'll take, I'll take this salt here, 10 rand, and then make an artwork that is most touching to someone who's like viewing the artwork. I mean, it's, it is totally unbelievable that you can use salt, you can use coffee, no paintbrush, no pencil, no lead, nothing but uh, salt and coffee. Uh, take us through what the hardest part of creating a piece is. So the hardest part of creating a piece is actually conceptualizing, like seeing the, the end result before you even start. Because the whole process after you, uh, you, envision, you envision the whole thing, then it's, it's easy, man. But just thinking, Hore, how am I going to layer it and then how going to look for the viewer, because I already know I'm an artist. Uh, but thinking, Hori, how it's going to look for some the difficult part. And, th and speaking of envisioning, how do you choose a theme? What is it that uh, you look out for? The most capturing thing for post po uh, portraits, it's actually the eyes. So if I can focus on the eyes, and then if, if I'm doing someone who's detailed like a grandmom or a grandfather with cracks, then those, uh, those specific details, they, they actually create the character and then you can actually uh, feel their, like their whole life within you. And how do you keep it intact? Uh, I recently found a way to make them permanent. So... From June last year, uh, if, even the one behind me, is, uh, it's a permanent piece. Wow. So I, I, I found a way to make, but it's a process. I found a, I found a way to stick uh, the first coat and then work on the second coat. And then, so I work, I work with layers. And does your art represent something about you? I mean, does it really represent a message about the world? It does. Uh, actually... Uh, it, it is actually derived from what I see every day. And sometimes I try to have memories. So some of my artworks are actually based on our history as South Africans. And then some of our, my artworks are actually about us being just human beings. I mean, just looking at some of the artworks there, uh, do you add a bit of coloring or... Is it just, uh, you know, your own imagination? <laughs> so I found a way to, make, to mix the salt and use also my, my, the sand from my home.
Mm-hmm. So I have different color of sand. Then I use like the base layer is red sand. And then I found a way to mix that with yellow sand and then beach sand and then also add salt. Then it creates color. So the background ah. is also the background is also using acrylic paints or sometimes I use even salt. Aha. Uh-huh. I mean, the, the fact that you've made it into the Guinness Book of Records is something that is absolutely commendable. It's so huge an achievement. So how else have you been marketing your work? So I've been mostly in social media now. Okay. Like, I've realized it works. Then I've, I've started advertising my work. Uh, I also do physical shows. But since we've stopped now, everything has moved online. Just a quick one, Percy. Where can people see you or see some of your work? Uh, Percy Maimela, uh, Percy Maimela artist on Facebook. Okay. Percy underscore Maimela underscore on Twitter, and Instagram Percy underscore Maimela. All right, Percy. Great chatting to you, man, and uh, thank you for uh, making us proud. You know, for being a Guinness World World uh, Record holder. Much much appreciated. Been a blessing. Been a blessing. All right, that was visual artist and Guinness World Record holder, Percy Maimela, just speaking to us on different platforms you know, that are available in which visual artists can use uh, to exhibit their work.